welcome to the how to use poster maker app if you already installed the application on your android device continue with the video if not the download link is in the description please go there and download the app so let's begin once you open the app there are two options first one is the create and migration create option let's start with this the first thing you'll notice is there are plenty of options to choose from these are different sizes, uh, the predefined sizes that are available in the app to choose from. If you have a specific size requirement, you can click on custom crop. So let's start our business card portrait. On the main app screen, the first thing you notice is the background where you can choose different background options either from camera, gallery or you can apply a single plain color using this option you can uh, create a gradient color of your own using the gradient option and there are uh, predefined is images within the app as well you can choose any one of them and they are all categorized in different uh, categories like texture birthday blur images and then uh, the brick Flower, love, retro, splash, old nature. You can choose any one of them. Then it will take you to the crop screen. The crop size is uh, of the same size that you've chosen before for your canvas to be. So you need to crop that image using that. You also have the option to apply filters to it. Then the second option is the badges. From here you can choose different badges. Once you tap on the uh, object that you inserted, you can see there is a grid which is visible so that you can align it accordingly. The other option is sticker. There are sticker categorized in different categories. You can choose any sticker from them. These arrows are used for fine tuning the position of the selected item. If you have multiple items and you want to align them very finely without touching the other one you can use the arrow buttons to move that particular object and there is another option here which is the layer option for example you're satisfied with the position of this particular item here and you don't want it to move even accidentally you can click on the you can select uh, this item first and then click on layer here there is a lock icon there you can just click on the lock icon and it will be locked on to this position you can also change the visibility of that item it will stay there but it won't be visible to you you can again go to the layer option and make it visible still locked so now when you touch upon it it won't move whether this will be. there's one more thing you can do using the layer option is that you can change the position of how these elements just tap on it and drag it so now we can move this this is a below level Along with that, there is an add text option. There are multiple font options to choose from. You can 
change the text color you can pick a color using this picker and the filter will provide you with the options of shadow the color of the shadow and the transparency of the text once you once you're done click on this button You will notice there are three options when you add a text the delete rotate and scale on the other hand uh, on a sticker there are four options delete rotate scale and mirror it, this is this will flip the selected sticker so to explain that let's choose another sticker let's say this one Click that it will flip sides. You can change the opacity of the selected item using this button as well. For text, you can edit the selected text using the edit text button. You can also change the color of the selected sticker this color option once you're done just click on save from here you can send it to your friends you can look for more apps in the same window rate the app or share the app so in my creation let's see the created poster from here as well all right guys that's all for now thank you for watching this video please do let us know in the comment section how do you like the app and share it with your friends thank you bye